Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's JPA here. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing Rangers versus Motherwell tomorrow at Ibrox. Uh, before we get into this video, if you're new to the channel, please think about hitting that subscribe button, hit the like button as well, and we'll just get straight on to this video. Cheers. So it's Rangers versus Motherwell at Ibrox tomorrow. Uh, it's a 3 p.m. kickoff on a Saturday, which means there'll be no uh, live coverage of it unless you go on Rangers TV and get it that way. I'm not too sure. I'm not 100% uh, certain. Uh, whether you'll have to pay for it or not, or probably you'll have to try and get some sort of stream, I'm, I'm not really sure, uh, to be honest, because I'm working tomorrow, so I've not really looked into it. Uh, apologies for last game, by the way, against St Mirren, when I did say that it was available on Rangers TV, I just assumed it was, I uh, didn't bother checking, so I, I do apologise for that if you tried to go on to Rangers TV and couldn't get it, it was, I think it was audio only, which Bob thankfully uh, pointed out. So if you look at Motherwell's form, they're not in the greatest of form, they are still 5th in the league, but that kind of tells its own story because they're, what, 10 points behind 4th uh, place Aberdeen. Uh, so they're miles away from the top 4, they're closer to the bottom 6 really. Uh, they're sitting in 5th position right now, but they've no won in 5 games. Uh, the last game was a, well it's got Sun and Common Rust, the, the last game was a defeat to St Mirren, uh, where they played a 4-3-3. Uh, the game before that, they lost 3-0 at home to Hibernian, also 4-3-3. And the one before that, they lost at home to St Johnston, 2-1, uh, which is also a 4-3-3. They've actually got to go all the way back to 31st of October, Halloween, uh, when they won their last game. That was a 2-0 win against Livingston away from home. Uh, so their away form seems to be slightly better than their, their home form for some reason, which... It's daunting for us, really. Uh, if you look at the last two results against us, they lost the league game 5-1 at home. Again, another home defeat. And they played at Ibrox in a friendly uh, just before the season started, and they lost 4-0. Uh, so two four-goal deficits there. I think this will be a closer game. I kind of see... I think Motherwell will be a lot more uh, organised in defence than they, they were. At home, I think they were a wee bit gung ho a little bit um, against us, and they kind of just came out too much, and we were able to get in behind a lot in that game, if I remember rightly. But as I say, their form isn't that great. Um, I expect them to go a 3 5 2, like they did in the last game against us, but that will quickly turn to a 5 at the back very, very easily. Um, I seem, seem to think a lot of teams are doing that against Rangers and Celtic right now. They're going, oh, they're 3 5 2, but as soon as the game starts, there's a 5 at the back. Um, and that's probably got, going to be the way of the game. Uh, I'd imagine it'll be very similar to the other games we've faced this season, where it'll be a, a big block of 5, a block of 4, and then one up front uh, trying to chase lost causes and what have you, and try and win free kicks and whatnot. Uh, in terms of Rangers team news, uh, Ryan Jack is almost back. He's not quite ready for this weekend, so unfortunately he won't uh, feature. Uh, Balogun has got a head injury, uh, sustained on Wednesday night against St Mirren, and uh, as a precaution, he won't play in this game either. Uh, obviously, we know about Katic, he's a long-term injury, and uh, he'll not be back until at least the end of January, I would say. Uh, Morelos, obviously, we know about him. Uh, he's serving the, the second of his two-game ban, uh, and he'll be back for, obviously, the game in midweek, which I think is St Johnston, next Wednesday. And he'll be back for that game. I'd imagine a lot of the players who dropped out will come back in. I think Zungu will, will take a place on the bench again, and I think we'll, when we start with Davis, who scored that goal Wednesday night, uh, I think we'll go with... Um, I think we'll take Bassey out and bring Barisic back in to the left-back spot and give us our, our full, full width doing both channels. Um, I think our wing backs are very much important to our game. Um, I'm not saying Bassett did really wrong on Wednesday night. I know a lot of people were giving him a lot of stick in that. He's made a couple of mistakes here and there, but I wouldn't blame him for the um, the penalty incident. I'd put more blame on Ryan Kent, who's played a bit wet in, on the edge of the area and losing the ball, putting him under pressure and making him uh, make that mistake, really. Um, and for the second goal, He's just been beaten for pace. Everybody's been been beaten for pace at one point in their life playing football. There's nothing you can do about it. It's just 
one of the things. Uh, maybe better positioning possibly, getting tighter to him, I don't know, but certainly if somebody beats you for pace there's not really a lot you can do about it. But no, I certainly think that Bar Barisic will come back in for this game and will field as strong a team as we possibly can to try and get this win because if you look at it, uh, Celtic are playing their cup final this weekend, I think that's Sunday or something, not really interested, it's last season's tournament, don't know why they're still playing it, um, I know they certainly wouldn't be playing it if it was just us in the tournament and Celtic were it, but that's just my opinion. Uh, anyway, it's a great opportunity for Rangers to go and get a victory and we'll stretch another three points ahead of them in the league, albeit they'll have another game in hand, uh, but every time we win a game and they don't play, it puts a little bit of more pressure on them. And obviously we've got a number of uh, big games coming up, uh, particularly a few tricky away games and uh, we've also got Hibs at home on Boxing Day which will be a tough one, then we've got the Old Firm game, we've got Aberdeen away, we've got Hibs away no long after that, uh, St Mirren away which is now going to be a tough game given the result in midweek, uh, St Johnston away is never going to be an easy game. So yeah we've got really tough fixtures coming up so if we can put a wee bit of daylight in between us and Celtic it gives us that little bit of leeway if we do. Uh, Touchwood, struggle and stumble, uh, dropping points isn't going to be too drastic for our season hopefully, uh, but in saying that I really think we will come back strong in this game. So in terms of my prediction I'm going to go positive, I do think we'll win this game, I'm going to go Rangers 3, Motherwell 0, goal scorers for me, Scotty Arfield, Tavernier and Kamal Roof. Um, I don't think I need to explain any of those choices really, Roof's playing really well and when he gets his start he seems to score uh, most of the time. Tavernier obviously is on a bit of gold right now, he's not scored for a game and he's not even assisted for a game either, which is strange. And Arfield likes to score against Motherwell, he seems to do really well against the, that team, so I'm expecting him to score. Uh, tell me what you guys think down below. I'll tell you right now, my, my son Robert's given me his prediction as well. He's gone 2 1 Rangers and he's gone for goal scorers of Kmar Roof and Ryan Kent. He's also told me that uh, Campbell will score their goal from midfield. I don't know why he needs to add that detail, but he's told me that. Uh, so that's pretty much the video done, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you're new to the channel, as I always say, please hit that subscribe button. Help me on my way, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.